this is Officer Victor White from the RCMP. According to my records, you have an outstanding debt with Service Canada. If you do not pay this immediately, then a warrant will be issued for your arrest. Do you understand? Yep. Your current balance is $1,461.80. Are you able to pay that today? Oh, yeah, of course. Would you prefer my credit card, or do you just prefer prepaid gift cards? Either one would suffice. Uh-huh. Okay, buddy. I have a quick question for you, though. If you've got time to answer it. Uh, sure. What's your question? Why do you do this? What do you mean? You know, scamming people. I mean, I totally understand trying to get some money without working hard. I hate working, but this is just gross, dude. Sir, I, I work for the RCMP. My job is- Yeah, yeah, cut the shit, dude. We're well past that. I just want to know, how did you get into this line of work? Well? I applied to it. There we go. So, some company just puts out an ad for scammers? No, 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 not exactly. I applied to a call center as a side gig to earn some extra cash. I, I didn't realize it was a scam until I started. Well, why didn't you quit when you realized you were scamming people? Honestly, the money is too good. I make $21 an hour plus a percentage of my scam commissions. Oh, that's interesting. So people actually fall for this? Oh, yeah, yeah. You'd be surprised. It's mostly seniors, but I get about four or five a day. And you don't feel bad about that? I'm not gonna lie. I did it first. But once I got my first paycheck and saw my cut, I started doubling down, you know? The world is already such a shitty place. And all things considered, I, I could be doing something worse. The way I see it, if people are dumb enough to fall for a phone scam, then they deserve to lose money. Sure. R right? I don't know, man. What you're doing is pretty greasy. And it sounds like you've done everything in your power just to convince yourself it's kinda justified. When it isn't. What do you mean? Scamming people's a really shitty thing to do. Like, regardless how you looked at it, it's pretty shit. Well, this is just my job. I'm not a bad person. Whatever helps you sleep at night, dude. Either way, I'm gonna let you go. Good luck with your next few scams. Hope the money is worth it. Hello? Hey, it's me again. I, I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Why? Because you tried to scam me? <sighs> I told you, this is my job. Please don't take it personally. I just don't want you to think I'm a bad person. I, I feel like you're judging me unfairly here. How so? Because I'm more than just my job. I have a life. A family. It's not my fault that when I come to work I'm told to call random people until one of them gives me money. I'm just a cog in the machine, like everyone else. Yeah, I'm sure the Nazis said the exact same thing. Okay, that's different. Not really. The whole, I'm just following orders, excuse, total bullshit, and you know it. It's true, though. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Well, why not get a different job? Right, like I'll be able to find another part-time job that pays well. You know how hard it is to earn a decent living, even with two jobs? I've got to take care of myself. So what if a few people get hurt in the process? Ugh. What? No. That, that right there is what makes you a bad person. No, no, see, if I can manage- Listen, guy, I don't have any time or the energy to argue with you. If you do bad things, you're a bad person. I'm not going to change my mind about but, that. Uh, uh, but... <sighs> oh, fuck off. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice messaging system. Jake, I thought about what you said, and you're right. Scamming people is wrong, and I've been lying to myself about it for too long now. I'm going to quit this job and start trying to earn my money honestly. Even though we may never speak to each other again, I, I want you to know you've, you've changed my life. I want to be a good person, like you are.